all welcome to the crafty diamond i am debbie today i am going to be preparing my safari edition um, from paint jam and i need to kit up my drills which means that i need to transfer them from the baggies that they come in into containers i cannot work out of baggies i tried it i don't like it i've tried it a couple of times and it just doesn't work for me so i prefer to kit everything up even though sometimes it does take a little bit longer but that is just my preference i am going to be using this paint gym container here this one is going to be large enough for what i have Hopefully they'll all fit in these small containers. If not, then I will just keep them in their, in their baggies until I am ready to pour some more. I am putting some washi, some washi tape on the containers. I don't know how well that these stick or if they are very hard to come up. I don't recall my last ones when I finished a set and so I decided I'm just going to go ahead and first put all the washi on here. I started doing it and then I thought well I'll just do it with you guys too. I'm using some older washi that um, came from Amazon. It came in a set and I'm not really crazy about it so I thought this will be the perfect one to use. Because once I am done with this, and I will just peel up the washi and throw the washi and the sticker away. The only thing that I don't like, and I shouldn't really say don't like, that, but with this container, I really like it because it says paint gem, and then I know, yes, there's a paint gem and kitted in there, but it doesn't hold very many colors. There's only 30 pots in here, 30 containers, and they are kind of deep. They're short and deep, but uh, most of the kits that I have seen lately have more than 30 colors. I do have two of these, but I really don't want to use two when I have other containers where I can just use one. And it makes it a lot easier if I am traveling or I often take these to work and have them at work so if I have time in between classes or if I have um, time that I really don't have anything to do and I'm just waiting you know, to go home then I have uh, something I can pull out really quickly I leave these at work quite often I do have a set that I keep at work and I've been working on that same set for a very long time but I will bring it home for the summer because I won't be on campus very much so I'll bring those home probably and then I will work on those and get those finished and then come fall I will take another one but it's just nice to have one container in my bag. I'm always loaded down anyway. When I go to work I have to have my computer bag. I have to have a work bag that I take with me. I have my lunch. I have my I have another bag where I have books and things if I um, if I need to carry it back and forth. Most of the time I just leave those there, but I'm always loaded down. I do have a small refrigerator in my office, and so I do keep my fridge stocked with flavored water and water, and I do have some Diet Dr. Peppers in there, and so I don't have to worry about taking drinks. So at least that's a plus, but I always have to take my lunch and I do keep like a lot of condiments in there. I have ketchup in my little refrigerator and I um, will often take a sandwich to work. And so I have mayonnaise and mustard that's in there. And then I eat a lot of salads. So I have my salad dressing. So at least I don't have to take all of that when I fix my sandwich or um, my lunch, whatever I decide. And then sometimes I will, if I know I'm going every day that week, I will take enough lunches for three or four days and just put it in my fridge so I don't have to carry so much. But it's nice to have a small diamond painting that I can just leave there. Nobody's going to bother it. I have a key to my office. I mean, obviously I would have a key, but nobody else does, you know, except for 
security and then our cleaning people and they're all really nice security wouldn't go in there anyway unless they just had to but nobody's going to get anything i keep it in one of my my drawers that is in my office my credenza and so i've never had any problems with anybody bothering it i have had some people when i'm working on it come and ask me you know what is that and so i'd explain to them and then they would get interested in it and a lot of times I would give my colleagues some small diamond paintings that I get from discount companies. So it does make a nice conversation piece. I'm thinking on the safari, I wanted to put something fun in my office and not just flowers, you know, which is nice. But I've been having diamond painting flowers and different things in there. But I'm thinking about swapping out every couple of months or so and swap out a paint gem. I think this would be a fun one to put in there, Safari. Because I know when I finish the butterflies and the doors, that's going to stay at home because those are really pretty. And I want to be able to enjoy them more at home than at work. This is taking forever to put the washi on. And what I do, what I try to do is when I go to peel off the stickers, if I can keep the washi, then I'll just keep it on there because then that saves me time from having to do all of this. Sometimes I'm able to, that's already ripped. Sometimes I'm able to keep the washi and sometimes I'm not. And I have so much washi and the really cheap ones that when you peel them, they start breaking away. Those are the ones I like to use for my containers. I don't want to use my good ones that I use to divide my diamond paintings. And then I also use on the edge of my diamond paintings to save from getting it all dirty. I'm just going to go ahead and put all of these on here. Wow, it's already taken me almost 10 minutes just to put the washi on. I guess I'm slow. I did unbox this on my channel. And I will put... The link in the top right corner, you will have a little eye by it, and you can just click on that and go and see that link. This one is going to be a really fun set, and I don't typically diamond paint animals. So when I saw this one, I thought this would be really fun and they're small enough. There is a large diamond painting. It's not huge, but it's larger than a paint gem from Bella Art Diamonds. And it's of a giraffe, a mama and her baby. And I really want that painting. And when I get off my no buy or if I feel that it's time to buy a painting that one is definitely going to be on it's on my list but right now I have several Bella paintings and so I want to get some of those finished too before I bring another one in but I don't have a giraffe and I haven't found one I've actually had looked in the past and couldn't find one now, these were in order. They're not in any kind of order right now um, because I just went through, yours truly, went through this and I was going through all of the colors. And so they're completely out of order, but there's not very many. And what I'm going to do is just I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the containers and then I'll rearrange the containers whenever I am done. This is number 839. This isn't in order either. I wonder why these aren't in order. Oh, that's why. I don't know. That is really strange that the underneath the stickers that came with the kit, they're not in DMC order. Unless it's going across it's not going across either. I wonder if it's going up. I cannot figure out how this is set up. I guess it really matters. Oh, and I did go ahead and I put some dryer sheets in my bags, and they're still staticky. 
I put some dryer sheets in the bag. Hopefully that would help out with all the static. And it's helped some, but I can still tell those have jumped out already. Even with dryer sheets, I'm having a hard time. And this dry, the dryer sheets have been in there for about four days. But it's not nearly as bad as it was. So I am not complaining at all. I just really don't want to lose any drills. And I will put these in order once they are done. I don't keep the bags unless I need to. And I'm going to take the dryer sheets out. And I'll put those in another bag that I have. And so that way I will be able to use them next time. And I really wish that I could kit up just in the bags, but I just absolutely can't do it. And I enjoy kitting up. I love to see the drills once they are in containers, especially the ones like Elizabeth Ward, you can just see through and you can see all the colors together. I don't think all these are not going to fit in here. Of course they're not. I have just a very small amount that I'm going to have to put back in the bag. I may have some a couple of extras in here. And if I do, when I'm done, then I'll just put those in. But for now, I'm just going to put them in the bag. And then I can put them in the top here if I don't have very many. And then they will be ready when I am. Okay, the next one is 307. There's not very many of those. This is a T. Can I even get this bag open? Okay, here we go. I may start doing this with the dryer sheets doing this well ahead of time because it has really helped normally I just do that do it right before and just shake it up and then get ready to put them in the in my containers and this has definitely helped with that problem Let's see 975 Next week's lineup for Thursday, it is going to be our last day. Next Thursday, the 29th, will be the last day of our Paint Gym event. I cannot believe how fast that it went by. It really did. It just flew by. And I am loving seeing everyone's completions. And next week, I am going to have a final weekly drawing. That is going to be for two different, from two different sponsors. One is going to be from Patsy Putty. This is um, her second um, gift certificate that she has given us. And then the other one is going to be from LEP and I will put her full shop information below put both of them and actually all the sponsors and so um, they will also do a drawing for a gift pack from LEP I think it's creations by LEP this is what the tray looks like and I really love her trays so she has she said that she's going to do some kind of a surprise package so I don't really know what all is going to be in it the only one that will know will be the owner and then also oh, that's got a lot of static the owner obviously and then whoever wins so I don't even know what and it's going to be a 
some type of a package that she's going to be giving away. So I'm really curious to see. So I will draw for both of those. So I will give you a secret code at the end of this video and you will use that code for next week's. And then today we're going to draw for a gift certificate from Enablers Outpost. So if you have been looking for a pin, they have gorgeous pins. They also um, have putty, which is called Chit. And they have gorgeous diamond paintings. So you'll have a choice of what you want from their shop with their gift certificate. And so that one was from last week, from last week's secret word. And then on the 29th, next Thursday, I cannot get these off my hand. On the 29th, next Thursday, I will have a final keyword and that's going to be for I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna have a keyword I haven't really decided there's so many that have completed two I may just have to I may end up doing it a different way because there are so many and I don't want to have a keyword in, in case someone wins and they did not finish so I think what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to put numbers on the ones that have finished underneath Facebook. And if you are not part of Facebook, make sure that you do send me your finishes if you haven't already done so. And I'll remind you this next week and I'll need it by 11.59 p.m. Eastern time on the 29th. And then I will draw either on Friday or Saturday, the 1st or the 2nd of March. And there will be three grand prizes, three grand prize winners, and they're all for Paint Gym gift certificates. There's a gnat if you see me sitting there swatting, trying to get it to move out of the way. But I will remind everybody next week on that. So for now, just make sure that you send in your two finishes. I'm going to post that under Facebook also. To uh, I think I'm going to have another post and just ask everybody when you finish, you can post your finish anywhere in on the page on Facebook, but then just put your name underneath a post. I think that's going to help me greatly because when I first started doing this, when we first started doing this event, I did not realize how popular that it was going to be, which, you know, I'm really excited about it, but I didn't realize how popular. And so I think it's going to be a little difficult on the grand prizes if I don't do it, make it easier. I mean, I want to make it easier for you guys as well. And I hope that you enjoyed the paint gym event and I will do this again next year as long as paint gym approves it um, because I even though paint gym they're not hosting this they were still and are still a sponsor and I did not want to overstep and have an event with their name on it unless they approved and they definitely did I am pretty confident that there won't be a problem that we'll have it again next year. But let me know in the comments if you would like to do this again next year. I have so many paint gems. I know that I'll have more by then. And it also has given me an opportunity to get more of mine finished and more kitted up. This one has a lot of static, goodness. I even left the bags open after I put the dryer sheets in there, thinking that that would help too. Left it open for about two hours. I was very nervous that I would dump them all out, but I didn't. They didn't get dumped out, thank goodness. Okay. 
I just hate it when drills pop out and they're all over my table. And if it's just one or two, I'm not going to try to save them. Especially as bad as these, as the static has been lately for me. Okay, the next one's 840. Trying to think of a really good word to use for next week. I may need to keep that dryer sheet in this one too. I've never had drills until recently actually pop out of, the, of my container or pop out of my tray. First time it did it, it kind of scared me. It just kind of made me step back for a minute. 38, because I didn't know what was going on. All right, 38, 27. That is this pretty color. I don't know if I'm going, how I'm going to frame these, but I know that I want to. I may frame them just like I do with my butterflies I'm going to do. And next week, I am going to show you my butterfly finishes. These don't hold very much at all. I'm going to show you my butterfly finishes. And then I am going to also frame them with you guys and show you how I'm going to frame those. And then I might even hang them up and show you a photo of what they're going to look like hanging up. I don't know if I'll get that far or not. It takes me forever to decide where I want to put anything. Okay, 976, let's see. Do you like to work on multiple paint gems, paint gem kits, instead of doing like all of the butterflies or all the safari or all the doors? Do you um, like to have two or three and then just work on whichever one that you're in the mood to work on? Or do you work on just one paint gem set at a time? I'm really curious. I was working on three different ones, but then I thought I'm never going to finish and I had to keep up with all the drills. I had all of the containers labeled, so that wasn't really a problem, but then I felt like I just had too many just out. So then I decided this time I'm going to do just the butterflies and see how I like that. And so far it's been pretty good. Well, I finished them, so now, if I want to, I can work on something else the rest of the week. The static is just awful. I am going to be kitting up a 200, at least 200, up to 250, I think, drills for a large project I'm going to start working on in April. And it has been sitting for over two years. The drills have been in the bags, in the box. Well, it comes in a, doesn't come in a box. It comes in a, like a cylinder, I guess is the best way to describe it. And, and then that comes inside a box. So, I am getting really nervous about that one because it takes me forever to kit that one up anyway. And I just hope that I don't have a lot of static because if it does, then it's going to be really bad. And I know I saw someone else kitting up, not in the same kit, but from the same company. And she had had hers for a long time as well. And it took forever. She had to end up putting the dryer sheets in. She had to let the dryer sheets sit for a long time and then shake up the bags. Then she had to use static guard and swirl that all around. And there were still problems. So we'll see. But 
I want to do that one on my channel. The last time that I did, that I kitted up from that company, Diamond Painting Deutschland, I think it was, I know it was at least two videos, possibly three. And I also kit up by shape. But I do all that first. And I make notes on my inventory sheet. And then that way, when I go to kit up, I separate all of them into certain categories. That makes it a little bit easier to kit up. It makes it a lot easier to find all of my drills that I need. I still have a lot of these to go. 310, okay. I really do like these, but I don't think I can put these directly into here. Let me see. I have a funnel, but the funnel is going to be way too big for these small containers. We'll just do it like this. That's the best way. I'm not going to, I could fill this up more, but there's not any point in it since I have quite a bit of 310s. The next one is, let's go with this one, 739. Okay. These bags, for some reason, are hard for me to open today. I don't know if it's just me or what. I do not know what's going on. I cannot get this bag open. We have to end up. I don't want to cut it. It's like it's sealed. There we go. All right. I think I can get all of those in. Get all the static out of here. It's like the drills are begging not to get out. And I've got. They sound like little, you hear little pops too. I don't know how to describe it, but you can hear when you're putting the drills in, or I'm putting the drills in the tray, you can hear the drills popping, which is very strange. If you've ever had the candy pop rocks, I think that's what they're called. I always forget they were years and years ago, and I think they've discontinued them. But when you put them in your mouth, you can just hear them and feel them popping. And that's exactly what this reminds me of. It sounds just like those pop rocks, which is really strange. All right, we're getting there. Can't believe it's taking me this long. It would only take a few minutes normally. I shouldn't say a few minutes, but maybe about 20 or 30 minutes to kit up this small, these small drills. But because of the static, it is taking longer. I went to kit down some drills because I wanted to get them put away. I needed to free up a container and went ahead and kitted them down. And they had been from a kit that I completed back in November of last year, and they still had static. And I'd already been using those. I had that kit open for a long time. So I thought that was really interesting. I guess they developed, redeveloped static. Okay, this one's 701. Maybe the smaller ones won't have as much. There's only a handful in here. Which always makes me a little nervous when you only get, there's maybe, I would say there's less than 100 of this color, 701. Which always makes me nervous when this is all that's in there. But I haven't run out. And a lot of these colors I don't have in my storage, my spare storage. 3705. 
It always seems like when I need a color, I have every color around it but the one that I need. We are on spring break. I need to look and see, but I think it's the first week in April. And I'll tell you, I'm like the kids. I just, I get so excited for spring break. It's just a perfect time to to be able to have some time off right in, I guess, the, before the middle of the year, before summer. I got my summer classes today for work. Unfortunately, I'm not a nine-month employee. I work year-round, so I have classes every semester, including the summer term, which is fine. I think if I were to take off, I probably would have a really hard time getting back into the swing of things. But we're doing our summer semester differently this year than we ever have. And I don't know, I'm a little nervous about that too. We are starting summer semester right after the spring term ends. Normally we have about three weeks break, gives students a good break, gives faculty a really nice break, but this year they decided that it would be best to go directly into from spring to summer so that way students don't have a huge break and they can have more of a break between the summer and the fall. So we are going to have a week where we're going to have off in the summer term. We haven't done that before either. I would rather take off before the term starts than have a week off right in the middle of the term because then as an instructor, I have to decide what What's the best way to have assignments because we are not allowed to require students to complete assignments on their weeks off. And even if we were allowed to do that, I don't do that. I don't think that's fair. When they have time off, they need time off and not expected to do their homework or anything while they are at a school. But that just means I'm gonna have to be more creative because for the summer term, it's only eight weeks. And the fall and spring term are 15 weeks. We have to have the same amount of material, exercises, homework, exams, everything that you would have in a typical term. We have to have all of that in the summer. So I'm having to compress 15 weeks into eight. So everything is pretty much doubled. But then on week eight, that is final exams. So really you only have seven weeks that you have to get everything in. And that's a lot when you're thinking of accounting. It's a lot. So now that we're going to have a week in between, an extra week, so I guess we'll have nine weeks, then I have to figure out how I'm going to split up the assignment where they're not going to be there for a week. So I need to start thinking about that, and my actual class just, class is just open. This one's popping everywhere. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're all over my hands, all over the table. 
I think I really need to get a humidifier. I wasn't going to. I keep saying I'm going to, and then I change my mind. But I'm not going to keep it on all the time. So I don't know if I turn it on and off, if that's going to do any good. It might make things worse. I'm going to keep this in here because this one has popped out everywhere. Shake that up really good. Okay. I have just a few more. 8.42. I almost didn't kit up on video because I thought, who wants to see a bunch of static drills going everywhere and me fighting the drills? And then I thought, well, it could be even comical. Who knows? But I know that a lot of you like to see this because gives you time to diamond paint because you're not really watching me just put these in containers. So I went ahead and did it. So hopefully if you want to get something done you're able to. I wish I could say I'm getting something done. I guess I, I guess I am since I am able to I am kidding this up. Let's shake this up some more but it's just so annoying. I'm going to have about five containers left, so I might eventually go ahead and put the extra ones in another container, but for now, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll start diamond painting, and then if I think I need to, then I can. That means I have to put more stickers on, and I'm just, I don't think I need to do that right now. All right, so now we have 543, three left, four left. Yeah, four left while I only have three bags. Okay, 543, I am missing a bag. I don't know what to do with it. Let's see, 543, okay, 543, 326. 922. I'm missing 437. I wonder if it's in here. Maybe it is in here. Hmm. I am missing a color. I will have to look for that. I know I have them all because I checked them when I got my kit. So I will, it must be maybe underneath my table. Maybe I dropped it, we'll see. I'm not concerned with it because I know I have it. It's just very unusual that it's not next to me. That's 543. Yeah, you know, I need 326. Okay, here's 326. I only have two bags. Okay. 326. This one's got a little bit of static in it. It's not just horrible. Oh, and there's my other bag. All right. Maybe I had one somewhere. Okay. and then I'm done with the kitting up process. That wasn't horribly bad, I guess. It wasn't as bad as it has been. I'll just say that. I guess it could have been worse. Get all of these out. I'll clean this up. I am going to clean up all of these lone drills here and I'm going to get my computer 
get the random picker set up and then we will see who won the enablers outpost certificate on the color that i was missing it was underneath i knew i had it what i have done is I've got completed all of this here and i'm going to put these in order um, whenever i get ready to dye and paint i like to do numbers and then letters and then if i have any other symbols i put those next but these are just couple of numbers and then some letters so I will do that in my spare time I have included all of the canvases in here it also says um, the safari on the inside and then I have my container I, I have the drills here that will go into these containers once they are empty and so now all I have to do is I can take this I do have a small toolkit that I take with me and typically it is just a pen, some wax, and I do put it in this little paint gem container that it comes with. I don't use um, the tool kits that come with kits, but I have my own. For next week, for the two drawings that I'm going to have, let's use the word shine, lowercase s-h-i-n-e, and that will be for the um, two weekly prizes that I have left as giveaways. And I want to thank my sponsors so much um, for sponsoring this event. I could not have done it without any of you. So I do appreciate it. Appreciate all of you that are participating. It's been so much fun. So let me get my computer. I'm gonna get it set up and we're gonna see who won the Enablers Outpost certificate. Hey, I have the video link to the comment picker and then I am going to go under a keyword filter. Last week's was spring. I'm gonna type in spring. And then I'm going to click on continue. There are 42 comments from last week. Guys, I'm so sorry. I lost connection right when I was saying the name of the winner. And the winner for Enablers Outpost Certificate is mom of four devils and you can see that if you go back um, to the previous um, little slide there and make sure that you do comment or, or contact me via email or you can do it through facebook or you can do it through instagram and send me your emails so that i can forward that on to elizabeth and edward at enablers outpost thanks so much for joining me today and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.